It's been two years since the pandemic and the world is slowly recovering from COVID-19. Suddenly, on November 26, 2021, World Health Organization has reported one shocking news. They have found one variant of COVID-19 known as B1.1.529, which they have named as Omicron. And now, this is a variant of concern. After this news, there were several questions in people's mind, such as whether this variant would be neutralized by existing vaccines. Can this variant be detected with QRT-PCR? Is it more dangerous than the other variant? Is it more transmittable? All of these questions would be answered in this video. So stay tuned till the end and share this video with your friends to grow awareness. Worldwide, more than 30 countries have reported the presence of Omicron and now there are more than 370 cases reported worldwide. India also reports two cases of Omicron and one of them was shocking. In order to understand why it was shocking, stay tuned till the end of this video. Now let us talk about the propagation of any virus in a population. When virus propagates in a population and reproduce, they eventually accumulate mutations. These mutations could be beneficial for the virus or these mutations could be disadvantageous for them. If the mutation is not really useful for the virus, that particular variant would be eventually eliminated from the population. But if it is advantageous, this virus would grow and reproduce more, increase in number, and eventually it would become the variant of concern. Now, World Health Organization has designated one dedicated advisory group for determining the evolution of SARS-CoV-2 virus and its variants. So this particular group periodically monitors the behavior of this virus and also reports the mutations that are present in the population. And they have reported that recently there is a new variant coming out from South Africa. Previously, there were lots of variants like Alpha, Gamma, Delta, Beta, and we all kind of know all of these, right? But the recent variant is Omicron. Question is whether it is more transmittable or more dangerous. And also, we don't know how fast the transmission could happen. Now, the number of people tested positive has risen really fast in South Africa. And that's why people think that there is a faint correlation between incidence of Omicron and the increase in number of COVID cases. But there is no data to support that there is a direct correlation between these two. Now the question is, can Omicron be detected using normal RT-PCR test? Normal RT-PCR test generally detects or reports the presence of virus by looking at the viral specific gene. And the answer is yes. RT-PCR test can give us some idea about presence of Omicron, but sequencing result is essential for confirmatory test. Now let us try to understand how the RT-PCR test for Omicron would work. Before that, we have to understand how RT-PCR test for a general COVID variant works. So generally, in order to say COVID positive, one technician or scientist has to report several signature of the coronavirus. And these signatures include RDRP, E protein, N protein, or S protein. More than one signature has to be present in the patient sample in order to designate it as COVID positive. Now the mutation in Omicron is accumulated in the gene encoding for S protein or the spike protein. Due to this mutation, scientists suspect that the S gene might not get amplified in the RT-PCR test. And they found that in many patients, there was a dropout or the target failure in case of S gene. So when the patient samples were examined using qPCR, they found the patients who have COVID-like symptoms, they show signatures like RDRP, E protein or N protein, but in the same patient, S protein could not be detected. 
So moral of the story is S gene target failure could be a new signature for Omicron. But this is a putative assay. It's not confirmatory. Once there is a suspect, then sequencing results would confirm the presence of Omicron virus. Now, according to Italian uh, medical group, this is the structure of the viral spike protein. You can see in the Omicron variant, there is quite a lot of mutations which has been accumulated in the active site. Active site means the site which interacts with the human receptor and allows the virus to enter the human cell. So what we really know is the gene encoding the spike protein is heavily mutated. But what we don't know as a result of this mutation, whether the affinity towards affinity of the spike protein towards the S2 receptor would increase or not. This is really unknown. So we kind of know half the story, not the full story. Now the group of Paul Benias from Rockefeller University give out an interesting research and the link is provided in the description. But before understanding that, let me tell you that whenever our body is infected with COVID, our body tries to respond by creating antibodies against this virus. Eventually, the antibodies would neutralize this virus and eliminate the viral infection. Now, this group of researchers has engineered a virus with mutated version of COVID spike protein. But this particular virus is not dangerous or not a threat to human population because it is incapable of causing COVID-19. What a relax. But anyway, this particular virus is an important study tool. Now, these researchers have taken serum samples and isolated the antibodies from vaccinated individuals and incubated that vaccine with this particular engineered virus or polymutated virus. And what they found out to their surprise is that antibodies from the patient sample or these vaccinated individual cannot really neutralize this particular variant or this polymutant spike protein variant. Shocking enough, many mutations which are present in this polymutant variant is also present in Omicron. That kinds of tell us that Omicron would be very dangerous like this polymutant variant and it might evade our immune system. But this is a prediction based on experimental result. We don't have enough evidence to suggest anything conclusive yet. Now, prelim preliminary data suggests that there was an increasing rate of hospitalization in South Africa in last week. Now, there could be multiple reason behind it. This particular hospitalization might have nothing to do with Omicron. It is also possible that there was an overall increase in COVID-19 cases and that's why there was an increased hospitalization and it has nothing to do with Omicron as per specific. But we still don't know the actual result. It is not clear whether this inf infection with Omicron would be resulting in a more severe disease compared to other variants or not and only time will tell us that now doctors are confused they also have many questions in their mind like is it a particular age group group which is more susceptible to this infection whether males or females are equally vulnerable or not will vaccination prevent the severe infection and mortality whether antibodies present in the patient body can neutralize Omicron variant? All of these questions are unanswered at this moment and we don't have sufficient data to back any of these questions. Right now, it is also possible that Omicron is more transmissible than the other variants. But that doesn't mean that it would be causing more severe infection. It is also possible that it is more transmissible but less severe infection is caused by Omicron. So both possibilities are there. Anyway, WHO has recommended usage of corticosteroids and IL-6 receptor blockers in case of severe infections. In India, there were 
two cases and one of the case was really shocking. The patient number two was 66 year old male who had a travel history from South Africa. But the shocking news came from patient number two who was a 46 year old doctor and he had no travel history from South Africa. Then how the hell he was affected by Omicron? And one of the leading India's newspaper reports this news. Now this question is that how does he got affected? Is this variant already present in Indian population? And what is even more shocking that his five primary contacts were tested COVID-19 positive. So is it the case that already COVID already Omicron variant was present in Indian population? And now after designating this as an Omicron, we understand that there might be presence of this Omicron virus or we are panicking at this moment. So the truth is not understood yet. It's very hard to predict. It's very hard to investigate. But what we can do right now is wait for the scientists to give us any conclusive answer. Now, what we can do possibly is covering our faces and elbows with napkin or with our with with our elbow while sneezing and coughing so all the covid hygiene like washing our hands with soap sanitizing hands avoiding crowded places and this should be followed right now because we should not be panicking in this situation but also we should know that prevention is much better than cure right so we should count on our doctors and scientists to give us more information and at this situation we should spread awareness and not panic so i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up if you think this video was useful share with you share it with your friends and family and help to grow awareness thank you